talk to them. They run the webcam? Yes. Take this away. Would you like anything to drink, Master? Yes, I'll take about a half a glass.
Well, it's not over yet. And look at who wrote the ending to that book. It says in the end, God wins. Just look around at the world Lucifer has created. Where's the evidence of your God? There. Where is this God everyone is talking about? The evidence speaks for itself. Man beings get real. This is Lucifer's world. Back to the review. I'll critique the short film and direct, pardon the pun, direct my comments to the newbie director wannabe, Ray Grant. Listen, kid. I hope you're listening. You need to get a clue about this whole good versus evil thing. I know there are reviewers that will tell you, oh yes, your technique is so good, how clever you are mixing animation with live actors. Check out my animation <laughs> with dead actors. Well, so what? So you got a gift for special effects. I'll give you that. I'll even go so far as to say that the images and the setting of the first world below the first dimension of heaven are pretty close to what they were back then. That means you must have an informer working for you. If I find out he's one of our servants, he'll spend eternity robbing graves. But honestly, buddy boy, you're missing with something. You're messing with something. You're, you're dealing. You're messing with something you have no idea about. No idea. Do you realize you're going to stir up a hornet's nest among your so-called Christian brothers and sisters when you stepped on their doctrinal toes? <laughs> you. You alone. You alone are creating this uproar. Let alone bringing down the wrath of every theologian with their own personal interpretation of God's self-promoting book. What makes you think you have an inside track on things that God doesn't even reveal in his book? You must have an informer. Is it that traitor Zibia? Zibia! His claw marks are all over this short film. Did God bring him back into existence? Once a traitor, always a traitor, Lord Lucifer says. Sure, you've got a down about some of the events, as far as who did what, where, and when. But you have no clue as to the reasons why, do you? Motive, my friend. It's motive that serves the conscience when one has to live with the consequences. Motive is what moves the rivals to do what they do. And this is what intrigues your audience. Bad things happen. But it is the motives that make the difference between the innocent and the guilty. Motive is what causes the perpetrator to own his deed. It's what feeds one's mind and gives the victor the sense of righteousness. 